Oh. Welcome to the channel, welcome back to the channel, whichever is for you today, and welcome to or welcome back to the Ultimate Blackpink Ranking. My name is Ross, and in case it's your first time here, if you just need a reminder how this works, I go from beginning to most recent in Blackpink's discography, song by song, give my thoughts, and then figure out where it goes in my list of most favourite to least favourite, which looks like that. It's been a very interesting last few songs, kind of gone all over the place in the list, um, but I have enjoyed to loved them. Um, so to speak, except maybe one where I was a bit lukewarm on, which you could probably tell by the list which one that was. Uh, but still, it was it was fine. So Pretty Savage is next, which is a B-side. Um, guessing it's not a ballad, uh, but before we get into that, just want to say I got a Patreon on the go at the moment, guys, who can make guaranteed reaction requests, also exclusive reactions, which will never be on YouTube. Great, lovely community on there, and thank you so much to the people who support in it at the moment. It really means the world. Find the link for that in the description. Enough said, let's check out this B-side, Pretty Savage. Oh. Piano? Oh. I was not expecting that. Oh. oh, the two rappers together, love it. Nice, nice, take a pee out. Rosé's tone. What's this drop? Gotta be a drop. Nice. This one's a bit more hip hop, this one, I like it. I love this pre chorus, this build to that drop. I'm guessing it's gonna be that drop again. I need a breath for this one. Nice break down here with Rose. It's like an acoustic guitar that's coming in the back. God, it's so stripped back with just the bass and that kind of like whistle type thing. 
Oh, that's nice. Oh, I all thought it was a bridge. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting, guys. I thought it was a bridge, but that was the end of the song. Very interesting sc structure with that. That was really cool. Really cool. That was a, that was like more hip hop than R and B, I would say. And um, I know she's the bias, guys. But forgive me, uh, Lisa. Lisa in that one. That felt like a Lisa song to me. But Jisoo, well, was that Jisoo rapping? And she sounded amazing. Awesome. Um, Jenny's rapping, of course, as usual, is great as well, and I love the use of Rosé in that song, the, in the pre-chorus and everything like that. So well done. I like. I feel like Jisoo and Rosé are like I used for the pre-choruses a lot, and they're perfect for it because they really get you ready for that drop that's going to happen most of the time in the chorus. Um, that that chorus was filthy. That drop. Teddy's at it again. Um, do you know what I mean? Like that beat and that bass that came in was filth. That's what I'd say for that song. That song was filthy. Um, that's going to be a gym playlist, even though it's a bit more on the slower side at times. Uh, that would be a great gym playlist song. But that was, that was, mmm, mmm. Like Stank Face. Uh, Stank Face, do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, that would be sweet. I can see there's a few, like, live performances they've done of that one, which I'd love to check that out. So yeah, right, list time. I am going to start from top to bottom with this one, guys. Um, I wouldn't put it above Kill This Love. I wouldn't put it above do 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 do. I wouldn't put it above playing with fire. I wouldn't put it above how you like that. I wouldn't put it above kiss and make up. I wouldn't put it above hope not. Stays a great ballad. Very different to this. Um, hmm. I wouldn't put it above stay. Bombay is great, but it does feel like it's it's kind of like it's funny that one ended quite abruptly. Bombay R for me personally goes on maybe a little bit too long at the end, as much as I love that song. And then you got Forever Young, Forever Young, which is a great song as well. And the default remix, oh, that was kind of tough, great. Right, I'm gonna look at those four songs because it's going somewhere in that area. I think I'd put it above Kick It. It's going somewhere in that area. Ugh. Oh. Right. Hmm. There's not too much I'd change about Pretty Savage. It's just, again, it ends quite abruptly, where I thought it was going to be a bridge. Uh, sorry, if you can hear the ring, by the way, guys. Um, I'd put it above... Hmm. i put it above D4 Remix. I do love Freddy, um... Uh, I'd put it above the D4 remix and below Forever Young. Yeah, it's going in that territory. So it's in the top 10 at the moment. Um, I really dug it. And like, again, stank face song. Do you know what I mean? So um, yeah, let's see what's next, guys. Very curious for you guys. I feel like that's going to be a favorite of people. I could be wrong. I don't know. Um, but I feel like it's going to be. Bet you what? Oh, it's another collaboration. Bet you wanna with Cardi B. So it's another rapper. Again, someone who I haven't heard much of their music, but I know of them. Um, and it's... Guessing that's got to be hip hop, um, or at least R and B, with Cardi B being there because I know she's a rapper. So yeah, that'll be sweet to check out. So I'll see you guys there. If you've enjoyed it, the like button that'd be amazing. Let me know where that goes in your list. Very curious about that. I feel like if you're into that sort of genre, it's gonna be high on your list. If you're not, maybe it's gonna be in the mid. I don't know. You guys tell me. And please subscribe because plenty of Blackpink on the channel already in the Blackpink reactions playlist. Plenty more on the way. So I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day, morning, afternoon, night, whenever you're watching this. Please take care.